This excerpt is part of an offering through the Energetic Synthesis website called Psychic Self-Defense. In this series, Lisa places the focus on empowering starseed and indigo souls to protect themselves. This comes from a class devoted entirely to starseeds. Here, in her own words, she explains what they are from her own unique perspective. This class also includes an audio visualization technique for starseeds that may prove helpful. In addition, there are two PDFs included with the class, a transcript of the initial class, which is around an hour and a half long, and an overview of the starseed terminology. Uh, and this particular excerpt is taken from the PDF overview. Um, as always, I share this with the intent of helping and empowering, not for my own ego glorification. I highly recommend this class to all starseeds, whether you align with the guardian host path or not. In my opinion, it's time and money well spent. And this particular class costs $11, but it's well worth the money. And I will leave the link to that in the description if you're interested. A way to explain starseeds is to describe genetically selected and evolved souls from another planet, star system, galaxy, or dimensional plane, whose specific soul purpose or mission is to act as a bridge and emissary between many levels of extraterrestrial presence, extra-dimensional presence, and humanity's evolution. The starseed role is also to help the souls who have lost their connection to their higher God selves and their divine purpose. Starseeds bring with them the skills necessary to help assist and catalyze a global shift in consciousness, eventually bringing on a new era of higher consciousness and resultant paradigm shift. Because their task is the most difficult one to perform in a very dense dimension such as ours, Starseeds are handpicked by the various interdimensional councils that are aware of consciousness evolution and the issues of the negative alien agendas on planet Earth. These interdimensional federations are a varied and collective group of guardians and life forms existing in many different forms and dimensions, assisting and influencing in the Earth plan of evolution. Starseeds are strategically planned and incarnated into various timelines of a planetary ascension cycle. Many beings who volunteer to perform such missions do so at the risk of forgetting who they are and losing connection with their higher God selves and their soul families. Starseeds incarnate into the same conditions of helplessness and total amnesia concerning their identity origins and purpose, just as the natives whose planet they are visiting. In order to acclimatize to and empathize with Earth conditions and her peoples, awakening can be gentle and gradual, or quite dramatic and abrupt. In either event, memory is restored to varying degrees, and the access to the soul records, library of light, and other coded information is downloaded as the consciousness is prepared to handle the information. Many are extremely tested to be emotionally purified of negative ego qualities in order to take on greater responsibility as consciously aware stewards building higher consciousness. The more balanced and integrated in archetype as embodied within the being the greater the sphere of influence and responsibility of stewardship of the Earth plan. Once reaching certain levels of spiritual plane integration and awareness, the being is contacted, superconsciously or consciously, and guided to focus on global service. During the awakening process, the starseed is aligned to reconnect to their spiritual selves, the interdimensional hierarchy and their home soul families 
for the purpose of realizing their lifetime missions. The connection to their higher God selves is strengthened, permitting them to be largely guided by their inner knowing. Throughout the entire history of human habitation of this planet, there have been numerous evolutionary rounds of dark and light cycles, known as yugas. In each age, star seeds were sent here in waves, immigrating to this planet, being called upon to awaken, activate, recover, restore, and salvage the previously lost wave of asleep star seeds. Many of these star seed souls who arrived in previous yugas may have stayed asleep to their soul mission and found themselves likewise trapped in the reincarnation cycle of a lower world of form than from their origination. Identifying with matter created spiritual blindness and then they unwittingly became seduced by the intoxicating materialistic illusions found upon this planet. This in turn created karmic energies that required further incarnations to balance. Although starseeds from this most recent wave make up a very small percentage of Earth's population, their mission is great and varied. Once their own awakening is accomplished, starseeds can begin to help awaken and accelerate other Earth-bound starseed souls to remember their original divine mission and purpose. The awakening in others is activated within an energetic resonance, creating the induction of a transformational force that ignites the DNA into action and assisting the other to awaken and remember their lifetime mission. If that mission is not recoverable or is outdated, these souls are taken through new training, usually in the etheric training schools off-planet to be prepared to take up a new lifetime mission. Starseeds are genetic hybrids with various amalgamations of frequency that are sourced from higher dimensions and other worlds and that are held in their energetic template bodies. This means they have genetic preference to receive spiritual current in these various frequencies when planetary shifts into higher frequency occur. Higher frequency activations result in expanded consciousness beyond the current level where the current consciousness dimensional grid holds the parameters of that reality. So it is easier for a starseed to receive and anchor in the higher frequencies into their energy field and that of the planets as their dormant DNA is already templated to be activated when exposed to an infusion of stellar-based or spiritual rays of energetic force. These stellar activation cycles to infuse higher energetic force have already begun rather recently on the planet. There are many other beings, life forms, ETs, among others, including our own power elite that are aware of these current and pending planetary energy dynamics their groups are wide and varied with their own motivational purposes, a service to self-agenda, and are implementing various strategies to keep this ascension cycle of budding higher consciousness to a bare minimum. This is the purpose of the negative alien agenda. When a human being goes through their personal soul evolution and merges into the levels of their light body at higher dimensional planes, they reach a plane that simultaneously merges with the highest levels of the planetary energy field. This is considered the soul's initiation into a full planetary ascension, and the soul is now merged with group consciousness and considered a planetary partial ascended master. The soul is then liberated from reincarnation into this 3D world and carries the consciousness and frequency signature to experience higher worlds existing in higher vibration dimensions. They are given choice as to if they are ready to aspire to world service as planetary teacher, to specifically focus in assisting the rest of humanity in their awakening. Many new gifts 
intuition and knowledge are given, and higher sensory perception, energetic forces become available for the master's use as a steward for the greater good. They also become a holder of transformational force and, as a spiritual conduit, are able to ignite and awaken others rapidly. If greater numbers of humanity complete their personal ascension and have their spiritual blindness and veils lifted, they will begin to experience multidimensional and higher sensory perceptions. That includes awareness of other beings, life forms, and the sources of humanity's enslavement by various imposed oppressions and manipulations made upon them that they had been previously unaware.